it's not just that Florida State lost to Memphis 20-12. It's that Florida State paid $1.3 million for the privilege. Florida State, I said you've been had. I said you've been took. I said you've been bamboozled, led astray, run amok, hoodwinked. This is what he does. Memphis put the shimmy in the shag. Florida State put the money in the bag. (laughs) I really expected Florida State to show me some backbone today. I really did. I thought that perhaps... They had had enough of us talking about them. I thought they'd had enough of me talking about them spending $2 million on a defensive line and couldn't stop the run. Stop the run today against Memphis. Stop the run. Also couldn't get no run. Roydell Williams, five carries, six yards? For real, dog? Game's on the line. What does Jordan Hankins, Memphis defense coordinator, do? He zero blitzes DJ Uyunglele, not once but twice. So now you're in fourth and 32, and you got to punt the football. You punt the football, defense does its job, you get the ball back, you squander that opportunity. You got an extra second on the clock to to go do something. Spike the ball within graveyard distance to go make something happen. You come up short. Florida State's offense looked as lethal as a plush toy Elmo being squeezed to death by a lighthearted two-year-old. Didn't look good at all. First four drives, Florida State ends those in turnovers. Right? You get two of those in the first four drives. I'm watching Roydell Williams put the ball on the floor. I'm watching Memphis be good, not great, good. I'm watching Memphis go, okay, now that we see that this is here for us, we're going to announce our candidacy in this election year for the group of five spot and the new 12-team college football playoff over Florida State's dead body on national television. And Florida State let it happen. I am not exaggerating when I tell you this is the worst start to any season by a Florida State football program ever. Yes, I realize they started 0-3 in 2021. I realize that. I also realize that before that, the last 0-3 start that Florida State had came in 1976 in Bobby Bowden's first year. To put a fine point on that, Bobby Bowden coached Florida State for 30-plus years pass away, and we're still talking about us getting back to this. I'm also looking at this going, you know something? After going 13-0 and and being robbed of the opportunity to play in the college football playoff, I thought that Florida State was going to be on a revenge tour. I think that if it were me, I would be. And that's why I had ranked them number five in the preseason. The AP had ranked them number 10 in the preseason. They raided Alabama's roster after Nick Saban's retirement. They added a former five-star in DJ Uyunglele. Turns out, none of that matters. None of it. Zero. Nada. If it were me, I would feel some kind of way about how people were talking about me. If it were me, I would not have let Georgia Tech beat me twice. And it turns out Georgia Tech beat them three times. Because Georgia Tech turns out not that good. Good enough and not that good. Turns out BC, not that good. Because Georgia Tech, who beat Florida State, lost to Syracuse. Syracuse might be good. We don't know, but we sure as hell didn't expect them to be. Boston College, last I looked, was on the struggle bus against Missouri on the road. And they went down to Doe Campbell, and they absolutely ran over you. You could not stop them running over you. And the one time you could stop the run, you can't get passes to go your way to save your life. Couldn't happen. So I'm looking at this, and I'm asking myself, How could you be so overconfident, RJ, as to believe that the Florida State Seminoles of 2024 would have the same sort of backbone that you might show? I don't know. I do this thing often. 
I choose to believe that people are at least as smart as I am and want it as bad as I do. Until such time as they prove me wrong. But now that I look like an absolute sucker, I don't have a problem saying Memphis is out here like Bullhorn in Black Dynamite. You might have a lot of muscle mass, but it is time to, for me to get in it. You understand what I'm saying here? Okay? You understand what I'm getting at here? Florida State looking real black dynamite like all I have, all I know how to do is fight and fight and fight. What I would like to see is a fight, and I'd like to see some wins because it ain't going to get simple for you. SMU can't wait to get you at the house. They can't wait to get you inside. Clemson can't wait to get you back for last year. You got Miami on the schedule this year. You got Carolina on the schedule this year. You might have Florida actually figuring it out with DJ Lagway at the end of the year. I'm trying to tell anybody that would listen. It's not just that Florida State lost this game. It's the way that they had started the season. That's why this is the worst 3-0-3 start ever for Florida State. You started as a top five team and you were 0-3. You started as a team that we felt needed to show everybody you should be in the college football playoff last year. And all they got is, nah, y'all right about us. Y'all y'all are absolutely right about us. We didn't deserve to be there. Give that to Alabama. They made a ball game with Michigan. And you know, look, how bad does Brock Glenn got to be for us not to see Brock Glenn not one time in what was a game that felt like he could do with a quarterback that could complete a pass past five yards. What does Mike Norvell do from here? You'll say, well, he's going to coach him up. He's going to go take a look at the film. He's going to break down the film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Right, bet, 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 bet. But what else is he going to do? What is there to salvage here? You're already down 0-1 in the ACC. And it ain't like you got an easy ACC schedule. Plus, you got another non-conference game against Notre Dame because every ACC opponent Notre Dame faces is non-conference because Notre Dame ain't in a conference. Remember that? They got an open marriage with the ACC. They see other people. They call it a marriage, but they see other people. So Notre Dame ain't got to play for no conference championship, and Notre Dame gets to play eight Power Four conference opponents while the rest of us got to play nine. No, and Notre Dame out here like a Greek god. I see who I want when I want to see them. Okay? Meanwhile, they got Purdue, who might actually give them the what for and how now that we're thinking about it. And I'm looking at this, and I'm asking myself, is anybody good in the ACC? And Miami's like, hey, RJ, slow your roll, slow your roll. I hear you. But between Miami and maybe Syracuse, because now that we've seen enough from BC, what are we talking about here? We are talking about a Florida State program that is showing one of two things. One, money alone can't fix your problems. Money makes things easier. It does not fix things. If it is about cost of living, if it is about being comfortable, money can do that. But you still got to go play the ball games, and now you got Florida State fans that feel some kind of way about all this money getting paid out because they think that the kids got paid way before, you know, and so they ain't got nothing to play for. And I'm going, nah, man, you, you messing with people's pride now. You, you prideful about your job. You don't want nobody telling you, no matter how much you make, that you don't you lay down on the job. We don't do that. This is America. The last thing you want to be accused of in the United States of America is not having no hustle. People be working on their days off because they do not want to shuffle the shame of not having no hustle. This ain't France. This ain't Spain. We ain't got no siestas, and we don't take naps in the middle of the day. We work all damn day long, and I believe that about the kids. I believe that about them, that they make more than a lot of other people. That's just, pro I mean, that's, that's what football is. You want to take that up on a bigger scale? Great. Awesome. I'm here for you. You want to see teachers getting paid more than college football players? Make it happen. But for the time being, play it as it lies. And as it lies is, a lot of money went out for an 0-3 start. How do you fix that? I don't think that's got nothing to do with money, honestly. I think money is now the entrance fee for these sorts of conversations. Meanwhile, Memphis is going, we got $25 million in name, image, and likeness money from FedEx just for, for that purpose, and we are using it to great effect. 
Seth Hennigan is a four-year starter for us. Rock Taylor is a dude for us. We got it like that. Florida State looking at Memphis going, how did we fall this far? It's a good damn question.